Afternoon guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I want to do today is I want to introduce you to the Henry 410X lever action 410 shotgun. For me, this rates right up there with some of the best survival bush guns on the market today. Number one, because it's a shotgun. I love the thought and the process behind a single shot shotgun because of the versatility of ammunition that you can put into the gun. I love the M6 Scout model 41022, again, because of versatility of ammo. The advantage with this is that you have the follow-up shots. And in this case, you can load six rounds, two and a half inch rounds into the tube, but you can also frame load or side load this firearm so that you can be very selective if you're out hunting on the fly, running a trap line. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. So you do have a six round magazine capacity. The gun does weigh almost nine pounds. It's eight and three quarter pounds, something like that. So it's fairly heavy, but at the same time, it's built on the same frame as the Henry Rifle 4570. So it's actually overbuilt for a 410 shotgun, which just means it's gonna last longer. To me, this is an heirloom quality shotgun. It's hard to catch yourself and not call this a rifle sometimes because it's a lever action, because it's actually a 410 shotgun. It does have screw and chokes so that you can change your choke selection depending on what you're hunting. For me, I just left the factory choke in it. You can shoot anything out of this 410 in two and a half inch shells that you can get for 410. It doesn't matter what type of rounds they are, whether they're full on defenders, whether they're slugs, whether it's birdshot, buckshot, triple lock buck, all of those loads will work in this gun just fine. And again, that's what makes it so versatile. And on top of having the follow-up shot, on top of being able to load into the side of the firearm so that you get last in, first out selection, if that's what you choose, that makes this a very versatile gun for the bush or for a woodsman. So let's take a closer look at this on the tailgate of my 4x4 here, and we'll talk more about it. Stay with me. Okay, so let's talk about features of the gun, first of all. You have a fiber optic front sight. You have a screw and choke. You have a magazine tube here so that you can actually load the magazine or the tube from the front, but you can also load it through the side. And there's some importance to that that I really like that we'll talk about here in just a few minutes as well. The stock is a Monte Carlo type stock that is synthetic material. It does have a rail on the end of it here where you could put a flashlight or a laser, something like that, if that's what you chose to do. I've chose to left mine alone. It's got a very comfortable grip to it and it has a very nice, comfortable stock. It has an extended lever on it that's got a bell shape to it that's more conducive if you're wearing gloves or if you have large hands. I have very large hands. So for me, it's a very comfortable lever action. The normal model of the 410 does not have that bell shape to the lever. This one has a 20 inch barrel. You can also buy it in a 24 inch barrel. I've just added a rubberized sling to this myself. It has a crossbar safety mechanism in it so that the hammer can't get bumped to discharge around if you have one in the chamber. It actually has to be engaged for that to happen. Very similar to the old H&Rs. The lever works like any other lever action. Lever forward, puts a round up to the chamber ramp, close it down, shoves you around into the chamber. At that point, it's ready to fire and there is no safety mechanism other than, like I said, to ride the hammer forward and there's a cross bar safety in there that keeps it from engaging the primer unless it's from the cocked position. It does have a recoil pad on the back that comes standard with this model. There's really not a whole lot of bells and whistles on this shotgun and that's really what I like about it the most. It's just a very simplistically made bush gun. Now let's talk about the importance, in my opinion, of the fact that it can be tube loaded or loaded through the frame. Anytime you load this tube with rounds, let's say you put 
five rounds in here. That leaves room for one more. So if I've got five rounds of a small game load, like a six shot in here, and I'm hunting, and if something comes up that I need to engage with a slug, I have the ability to then side load a slug from my pocket, and that will be the next round that gets jacked into the chamber because it's going to take the very last load and put it in the chamber. If I don't side load it here, obviously it's gonna be one of those six shots. So that gives me the ability to kind of keep a standard load out in the gun and then keep some type of specialty load in my pocket in case I were to need it. So let's talk about loading the tube, very, very simple. You turn it sideways to release, pull it out past the plunger and spring here, and then drop the rounds in and move them back out of your way. You can use gravity to do that, or you can use your finger like I'm doing to show you because we're in a little bit of a slant here. Again, it will hold six rounds. And when you're done, you just close it back in and lock the tube in. And as you can see, the first round you loaded is right here, ready to be chambered. Again, if you were carrying another load in your pocket and you need to engage something different instead of some type of small game round, you can, at that point still, side load this gun to its capacity. All right, well, that's about enough of the particulars of this 410X. I guess the only thing left to do is to shoot it. Let's see what she'll do. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this quick review of the Henry 410X model shotgun. A lever gun that is a shotgun is amazing when it comes to a bush gun. In eastern woodlands of Ohio, you rarely have long shots. Most of your shots are 50 yards and in at the most. To be honest, most of the shots I take are inside of 30 yards. A 410 is perfect for that. A 12 gauge sometimes can be a little overkill when it comes to destruction of meat on small game. And that's where a 410 really shines. And that's part of the reason I like that 410-22 combo so well. However, the fact that this has follow-up shot capability and it will shoot 410 slugs, giving you follow-up shots on a deer, if for some reason you may need them. And yes, a 410 slug will definitely take a deer. So as far as the Eastern Woodlands goes, this 410 bore will take any game that you're going to want to address in the Eastern Woodlands from fowl to mammals. Not a problem. And so far, so good. I'm really impressed with the gun. I really like it. You're going to see a lot more of it in my videos. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown and a quick review of the gun. I do believe that it is available to the public now. It, again, it was just released SHOT Show 2020, but I believe it's out there now and available to buy. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.